Good afternoon. Before beginning the service, I would like to share with you uh, just a few details about the prayers that we are going to see today. Uh, the service, it's actually a combination of the betrothal service and then the crowning or the marriage service. And in the first part, the betrothal, you will see a lot of uh, <coughs> references to times in biblical, uh, in our scriptures, where uh, the ring was blessed so that it would signify the marriage, uh, when uh, uh, blessings were bestowed on people uh, with the rings. And so we are going to bless the rings and then put them uh, on their fingers today. Uh, and then the kumbara will exchange the rings three times. Then there will be uh, readings from Psalms and singing the Psalms, after which the service of marriage proper will begin. And when that begins, you will see that we'll have petitions for the welfare of the couple. And then we are going to join your right hands together, um, after which we will place crowns on their heads. And we have the crowns here, which we are going to bless. If you remember when the Olympics happened in Greece a few years ago, uh, people did not receive only medals, but also crowns, because these are signs of victory. And if you look at the icons that we have in our church, all the saints have crowns around their heads. And so we are prefiguring here the fact that they are going to be saved together. This is why the crowns are actually attached to each other with the ribbon, because from now on you will be responsible with each other's salvation. You are united here on this earth, but also as a journey towards the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> and so these crowns, we are going to bless them and then place them upon your heads. And the Kumbaro again will exchange them uh, three times. Then we'll have scripture readings from the letter to the Ephesians, in which St. Paul tells us how much to love each other, spouses, where we should be ready to give our lives for each other, to make sacrifices, and to love the other person more than we love ourselves. And the reading from the Gospel is from the Gospel of John, where Jesus went to Cana in Galilee, and there he changed the water into wine. That was the first miracle he did in his public service. In the cup that you see here in front of yourselves, we actually have some wine that we brought from Cana in Galilee, so that you would partake in that miracle that happened 2,000 years ago, but continues today and with every marriage so that you would all be blessed uh, so that you would be blessed and so after the scriptures reading you are going to receive from this common cup <clears throat> after that there is the dance of isaiah and i don't know for sure what you imagine when i say dance please nothing elaborate we're just going to go three times around and that is because some of us priests really that's all we can handle in terms of skills <laughs> dancing skills but we're going to go three times and very important is that the same hymns are sang at the ordination into priesthood when the candidate for priesthood is taken three times around the altar table. And I will say a few more words at the end of the service, because definitely what I'm talking right now is not enough. I need to say more. And so at the end of the service, I want to come back to that image of the same hymns from the uh, sacrament of ordination uh, and what it means to have a priestly family. Um, the uh, uh, dance is then followed by the removal of the crown and the final, uh, the crowns and the final benediction. And so, if you would please stand. The candles, sorry. <coughs> Blessed is our God, holy is now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the servant of God, Joshua, and for the servant of God, Maria, who now pledge themselves to one another, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That there may be promised unto them children for the continuation of their race, granting unto them all their prayers unto salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we send down upon them perfect love and peaceful earnest and peace, and give them his protection, let us pray to the Lord, Lord mercy. that he may keep them in oneness of mind and in steadfastness of the faith, let us pray to the Lord, Lord mercy. that he may bless them in harmony and perfect trust, let us pray to the Lord, Lord mercy. that he may keep the course and manner of their life blameless, let us pray to the Lord, Lord mercy. that the Lord God may grant unto them them an honorable marriage and the marriage bed I am defiled, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Theotokos Mary, with all the saints, let us commit us. ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God eternal, who has brought together into unity the things which before had been separate, and in so doing pose on them an indissoluble bond of love, who did bless Isaac and Rebekah, declaring them to be the inheritors of your promise. Do you yourself bless these your servants, Joshua and Maria, directed them into every good work. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give all glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. I with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. O Lord, our God, who espoused the church as a pure virgin called from out of the Gentiles, bless this betrothal, united these your servants, keeping them in peace and oneness of mind. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the servant of God, Joshua, is betrothed to the handmaiden of God, Maria, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Joshua, is betrothed to the handmaiden of God, Maria, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Joshua, is betrothed to the handmaiden of God, Maria, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The handmaiden of God, Maria, is betrothed to the servant of God, Joshua, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The handmaiden of God, Maria, is betrothed to the servant of God, Joshua, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The handmaiden of God, Maria, is betrothed to the servant of God, Joshua, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. For a mercy. O Lord, our God, who accompanied the servant of the patriarch Abraham to Mesopotamia when he was sent to espouse a wife for his Lord Isaac and did reveal to him a sign by the drawing of water to betroth Rebekah, do you yourself bless the betrothal of these your servants, Joshua and Maria, and confirm the word that has been spoken by them. For you, O Lord, from the beginning have created male and female, 
and by you a woman is joined to a man for assistance and for the continuation of the human race. Therefore, O Lord God, who has sent forth your truth to your inheritance and your promise to your servant, our fathers who are your elect, do you give regard unto this your servant Joshua and your servant Maria, and seal their betrothal in faith, in oneness of mind, in truth and in love. For you, O Lord, have declared that the pledge is to be given and held inviolate in all things. By a ring, Joseph was given might in Egypt. By a ring, Daniel was exalted in Babylon. By a ring, the truth of Tamar was made manifest. By a ring, our Heavenly Father showed compassion upon the prodigal son, for he said, Put a ring upon your right hand, kill the fatted calf, and let us eat and rejoice. Your own right hand, O Lord, armed Moses in the Red Sea. Yes, by the word of your truth were the heavens established and the earth set upon her sure foundations. And the right hands of your servants shall be blessed by your might and by your uplifted arm. Wherefore, Master, do yourself bless this, bless this putting on of the rings with your heavenly benediction, and may an angel of the Lord go before them all the days of their life. For you are he who blessed and sanctifies all things, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is everyone that fears the Lord. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. That walks in his ways. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. For you shall eat the labor of your hands. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Blessed are you, and she shall be well with you. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Your wife shall be as a fruitful vine on the sides of your house. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Your children like young olive plants around your table. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Behold, the man shall be blessed that fears the Lord. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. The Lord shall bless you out of Zion, and you shall see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Glory to you, Lord, glory to thee. Yes, you shall see your children's children, and peace be upon Israel. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of God and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servants of God, Joshua and Maria, who are now being joined to one another in the community of marriage and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That this marriage may be blessed as was that of Cana of Galilee, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That there may be given unto them soberness of life, and the fruit of the womb as may be most expedient for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That they may rejoice in the beholding of sons and daughters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That there may be granted unto them the happiness of abundant fertility in the course of life, blameless and unashamed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
that there may be granted unto them and unto us all prayers that tend unto salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That both they and we may be delivered from tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you all do all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, most pure author of all creation, who through your man befriending love transformed the rib of Adam, the forefather, into a woman, and blessed them and said, Increase and multiply and have dominion over the earth. And by the conjoining, declaring them both to be one member. For because of this, a man shall forsake his father and his mother, and he shall cleave unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. And whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Who did also bless your servant Abraham and opened the womb of Sarah and made him the father of many nations, who bestowed Isaac upon Rebekah and blessed her offspring, who joined Jacob and Rachel and made from them manifest the twelve patriarchs, who joined Joseph and Asenath together, and as the fruit of generation did bestow upon them Ephraim and Manasseh, who accepted Zacharias and Elizabeth and declared their offspring the forerunner, who out of the root of Jesse, according to the flesh, produced the ever-Virgin Mary, and from her were incarnate born for the salvation of the human race, who through your unspeakable grace and plentiful goodness were present in Cana of Galilee and blessed the marriage there, that you might show a lawful union and a generation therefrom is according to your will. Do you yourself, O most holy master, accept the prayer of us, your servant, and as you were present there, be present also here with your invisible protection. Bless this marriage and grant unto these your servants, Joshua and Maria, a peaceful life, length of days, chastity, love for one another in a bond of peace, offspring long lived, fair fame by reason of their children, and a crown of glory that does not fade away. Account them worthy to see their children's children. Keep their marriage safe against every hostile scheme. Give them of the dew from the heavens above and the fatness of the earth. Fill their houses with bountiful food and with every good thing that they may give, have to give to them that are in need, bestowing also on them that are here assembled with us all their supplications that are unto salvation. For you are a God of mercy, compassion, and love, and to you we give glory as to your eternal Father and your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, holy celebrant of mystical and pure marriage, maker of the laws that govern earthly bodies, guardian of incorruption, kindly protector of the means of life. Do yourself now, O Master, who in the beginning created man and appointed him as the king of creation and said, it is not good for man to be alone upon the earth. Let us make a help made for him. Then taking one of his ribs made woman, whom when Adam saw, he said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, for she was taken out of her man. For this cause shall a man forsake his father and his mother, and cleave unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. And whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And now, O Master, Lord our God, send down your heavenly grace upon these your servants, Joshua and Maria, and grant unto this woman to be in all things subject unto the man, and to this your servant to be at the head of the woman, that they may live according to your will. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Abraham and Sarah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Isaac and Rebekah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Jacob and all the patriarchs. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Joseph and Asenath. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Moses and Sephora. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Joachim and Anna. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Zacharias and Elizabeth. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as you preserved Noah in the ark. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as you preserved Jonah in the jaw of the sea beast. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as you preserve the holy three children from the fire when you send down upon them the dew of the heavens. And may that joy come, come upon them, which the blessed Helen had when she found the precious cross. Remember them, O Lord our God, as you remembered Enoch, Shem, and Elias, 
Remember them, O Lord our God, as you remember your holy forty martyrs, sending down upon them the crowns from the heavens. Remember them, O Lord our God, and the parents who have reared them, for the prayers of parents confirm the foundations of houses. Remember, O Lord our God, the wedding company that here have come together to be present at this rejoicing. Remember, O Lord our God, your servant Joshua and your servant Maria, and bless them. Give them fruit of the womb, fair children, conquer the soul and body. Exalt them as the cedars of Lebanon and as well-cultured vine. Bestow on them a rich store of sustenance, so that having a sufficiency of all things for themselves, they may abound in every good work that is good and acceptable before you. Let them behold their children's children as newly planted olive trees round about their table, and being accepted before you, let them shine as the stars into the heavens. In you, O Lord, to whom are due all glory, honor, and worship, as to your eternal Father and your all holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Holy God, who fashioned man from the dust and from his rib fashioned woman and joined her to him as a helpmate for him, for it was seemly unto your majesty for a man not to be alone upon the earth. Do yourself, O sovereign Lord, stretch forth your hand from your holy dwelling place and join together this your servant Joshua and your servant Maria, for by you is a wife joined to her husband. Join them together in oneness of mind, crown them into one flesh, grant to them the fruit of the womb and the gain of well-favored children. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Amen. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please rise. The servant of God Joshua is crowned to the servant of God Maria. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The servant of God Joshua is crowned to the servant of God Maria. In the name of the Father Amen. and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God Joshua is crowned to the servant of God Maria. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God Maria is crowned to the servant of God Joshua. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God Maria is crowned to the servant of God Joshua. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God Maria is crowned to the servant of God Joshua. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ to God the Father, be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to you, husband, as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, and Christ is the head 
of the church, his body and his himself is saved. As the church is subject to Christ, to let wives to be also subject in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of the water with the word, that he might present the church unto himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle, <clears throat> or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Even so, husbands should love their wives as they love their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no man ever hates his own flesh but nourishes and cherishes it as Christ does the church because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife and the two shall become one. This is a great mystery and I take it to in Christ and the church. However, let each one of you <clears throat> love his wife as himself. All. And let the wife see that she respects her husband. Peace be to you, the reader. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to thee. At that time, there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the marriage with his disciples. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. When the steward of the feast tasted the water, now become wine, and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first, and when men have drunk freely, the then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Glory to you. Say with all our soul and all our mind, let us say. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray to you, listen and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation for your servants. 
Joshua and Maria, and for all those here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, who in your saving providence did promise in Cana of Galilee to declare marriage honorable by your presence, do yourself preserve in peace and oneness of mind these your servants, Joshua and Maria, whom you are well pleased should be joined to one another. Declare their marriage honorable, preserve their marriage bed undefiled, grant that their life together be with, uh, without spot of sin and assure that they may be worthy to attain unto your ripe old age, keeping your commandments in a pure heart. For you are our God, the God to have mercy and save, and to you we give all glory. As to your eternal Father and your all holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Today, o Lord. And make us worthy master with confidence and without fear of condemnation to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. I will your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Pray, oh Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, who by your might create all things and confirm the universe and adorn the crown of all things created by you, do you, with your spiritual blessing, bless also this common cup given to them as they are joined in the community of marriage. For blessed is your holy name and glorified is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Isaiah, Horeve, Epa, 
Parthenos ex genegastri, ke et ecenion ton Emanuel, theon te ke anthropos anatoli, onomaftu, on megalinon des, in Parthenu Macarizo. Substantial Trinity. Be magnified, O bridegroom, as Abraham, and blessed as Isaac, and increased as was Jacob. Go your way in peace, performing in righteousness the commandments of God. And you, O bride, be magnified as was Sarah, and rejoice as was Rebecca, and increased as Rachel, being glad in your husband, keeping the paths of the law, for so God is well pleased. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, our God, who was present in Cana of Galilee and blessed the marriage there, do you bless these your servants? who by your providence are joined in the community of marriage, bless their comings in and goings out, replenish their life with good things. Accept their crowns in your kingdom, unsoiled, undefiled, and preserve them without offense to the ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads before the Lord. Lord. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the all holy, consubstantial, and life giving Trinity, one God, heaven, kingdom, bless you and grant to you long life, well favored children, progress in life and in faith, replenish you with all the good things of the earth and count you worthy of the promised blessings through the intercessions of the Holy Theodokos and of all the saints. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope glory to you. May Christ our true God, who by his presence in Cana of Galilee declared marriage to be honorable, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God through the intercessions of his old pure and holy mother, of the holy glorious and all praise the apostles, of the holy God crowned and equal to the apostles, Constantine and Helen, of the holy great martyr Procopius and of all the saints. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity bless all of you. may be seated. Joshua, Margo, what a blessing to see all of us here gathered together. Trisha and Dirk, uh, Nick and Joy. Uh, it's very, very good to see you, Ted. Your children, your friends, family, everybody here, we have witnessed and prayed together for the joining together 
of these two wonderful people in their marriage. And it is especially a blessing because they are a priestly couple. Joshua, may God be with you in your ministry. And I wanted to share with everybody that ministry is not just the calling of the pastor. That ministry is a calling for the entire family. And in the Orthodox Church, you may know, those of you who are guests, that we do uh, get married. We are priests who are married. We have our own children. And uh, Father John and I have experienced what it means to have a priestly family. And I have witnessed firsthand uh, by serving here with Father John, by seeing his wonderful family, what it means for the family of the pastor to be a source of inspiration to the entire community. There are many parishioners of ours who need advice on how to be good parents, how to be good spouses. And the best advice is not the one that you read in books. It's one thing to say, I've read that it's really difficult to change diapers at 4 o'clock at night. <laughs> and another thing to say, oh, yes, our children recently got out of diapers. It's like I got a raise. <laughs> it's very difficult, though, not to have the experience and give advice to others and be a shepherd for others. And it is very important to notice that when people come for advice, they do not come just to the pastor during office hours, but they learn primarily by looking and seeing what it means to have a Christian family, a good marriage. And especially when it comes to being a source of inspiration, the light, the shining light on the city, the salt of the earth, it is by example that all of you are teaching, that all of you are sharing in this ministry. And that is not an easy thing, because you may think one person decided to go to seminary and then got ordained, but it's the entire family, isn't it, that ministers. It's also quite a calling, and what a high calling, to say that the souls of your parishioners are in your hands. As pastors, we are responsible for the salvation of those who are entrusted with us. What a calling that Jesus chose us, unworthy as we are, not because we know the best theology, not because we have the best voices, not because we know the best counseling techniques, but because he chose us. And he chose us together with our entire families. And that is a great calling. We have not asked for it. We have been asked to serve. And so all of us here, we are praying for their marriage, for their union, but we're also praying for their ministry together as they take care of each other and of the entire body of Christ. May God bless your marriage. May God bless your family. May God bless your ministry. Amen. Now you may kiss the bride.
If you would please rise.